Let me hear you. Celebrations fit for a champion. Kelda Wood makes history as a new queen of the ocean. First the smiles, then the tears, as she's embraced by her sister who's travelled from South Tyneside to meet her. It's starting to feel amazing now, but I think at the, the time it was just complete relief. Um, it, it had been a challenging race um, and certainly the last 24 hours um, had been really challenging because of the wind. I think there were two things that I found really difficult. Um, the first was the solitude and, and the second thing was the frustration. It, you know, if the wind was blowing in the wrong direction, there was nothing you could do about it, but it had such a big impact. Kelder completed the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge, rowing 3,000 miles from the Canary Islands to the Caribbean. It's called one of the world's toughest races, and she did it on her own with impaired mobility, the first para-athlete ever to do so. Before the water, her first love was horses, but Kelda was badly injured by a falling hay bale. It puts her Olympic riding dreams on hold. Now she completes new challenges to inspire others. Can you how it feels to <sighs> Kelda lives in Shropshire, but reliving the special moment in Wickham today, her family and close friends. What was going through your mind when you saw her finish? Relief. I think was probably the first one that she'd actually got there. Um, pride, of course, that she'd achieved it. And um, admiration that she'd been brave enough and had the courage to actually go for it. I know that she's inspired so many people here. So many people that don't even know her and are still commenting saying, oh, Kelda, how amazing are you? That's just, that's so nice to see that she's got so many people behind her. I know she rode across the Atlantic, but it was never about rowing across the Atlantic. She still does it for other people. Yeah. How great will it be after all this time to have her back home? Just to see her and give her a hug. <laughs> you know, that's the important thing, I think, yes. And of course, all she wants is to see her dogs. <laughs> yes. You want to name check them, what are they called? Hardy, Smurf and Kipper. Kelda has set up her own charity, climbed mountains and crossed an ocean. The question is, what next for this remarkable athlete? Johnny Blair, ITV News.